Hello, Pipe Community. This is Philip. Hey, I just want to jump on real quick. I got a few things in. I haven't purchased anything for quite a while. And uh, I thought I would just share with you some of the things I found. And uh, it won't be very long. I will be... I've actually done something I haven't... I didn't ever think I would do. And that is... Smoked a couple cigars lately. Now this one I was chewing around in my mouth, so it looks a little ragged on there. I think I do that to most of them, but I don't know why. Probably some do and some don't. But this is a CAO Brasilia, and it's um, a Nicaraguan tobacco, uh, and it has a Maduro wrapper, as I understand. So this is the one I've found that I like the best. If you all have uh, suggestions of ones that I might also enjoy that are in that same line, I seem to like a full uh, body or whatever it's called, full, full, and I like the Nicaraguan. So far, this has been the one that I've liked the best. So I would appreciate it if you'd kind of let me know what you think, if there's some others I could try. Okay, so I'm going to do this quickly. I uh, did a little shopping and I got some tobacco basically is what this is going to be and I had pondered whether to get it or not and I've got plenty of tobacco I think we could all admit that but I just had a desire to maybe buy a few and um, so these are ones I haven't had before uh, one I have I think which is you'll see I'll tell you about it but um, the first one that I have is Frog Morton. And I gotta see which one this is. Oh, Cellar. Yeah, Frog Morton Cellar. I wasn't really reading it very good. I don't have my glasses on. I got my contacts in. I can't see close, but I can see awesome far. So I could pick that up. These are from Pipes and Cigars. I got this. One, everyone pretty much knows what that is, nightcap. I haven't tried that yet, so I bought one of those. And I bought Capstan. Seeing a lot of guys uh, showing that one, so I decided to power suggestion I'd go ahead and get it. Um, this one is Balkan Blue Pipe Tobacco. I was thinking it was something common. But Balkan Blue Pipe Tobacco. Maybe that's what I settled on. I was thinking it was like Mississippi. Well, anyway, that's what I got. Try that one out. And this is one I've had before, and I really enjoy this one. Early Morning Pipe. Then I did a little shopping at my local tobacconist. Yeah, he's not really a tobacconist. He's just a pipe and tobacco store, basically a cigar store. But he does have a great selection of of uh, tobacco. So I bought Stonehaven. Pelican. Pelican. Pelican and another capstan. I didn't realize I'd ordered that this one online, and I wondered too. Um, this one is a different size than the one I got in. Is that I got to look that up and see if that's how they do it? The square seems to be a smaller tin. I can't read exactly, and then the circle. So I'm gonna look that up this afternoon now that I've done that. Um, so that's basically what I purchased, and I uh, look forward to enjoying those. Like I said, I'm uh, trying to trying a few cigars, and um, I never thought I would, never, and I kind of said I wouldn't. And one of the biggest reasons is because it's like it's a very expensive hobby, in my estimation. When you smoke a half a stick, or you know maybe a three quarters of it, if you're inclined to do so. 
and uh, you're paying $8.99. This, this one was $8.99. Uh, you can get them online, I'm sure, cheaper, and you can buy them in bulk cheaper, but being one that's just going to pick one up here and there, not, not an often, not very often. I was kind of doing the math, and I thought, well, at three a week, if you did even three a week times nine plus, because you have taxes, eight ninety nine plus tax, even if you just round it to nine, and, and you know you're low, that's twenty seven dollars. That's almost thirty bucks a week. That's, uh, yeah, it's up there in cost, you know, per per year. So I don't know how you all do it, how you rationalize it, but. I like my pipe tobacco and I like to uh, sit and do that, but I don't know whether I'll be able to. There is a thing that goes along with it, though. You kind of desire that once in a while. And I did smoke a piece of one last night um, that I had left from uh, the night before. I know that's probably not right to do that, but I cut off the unsmoked part or the ashed part, and then I grabbed it, re torched it and lit it and put I got on the tractor and rode and uh, mowed the grass it was fine for me so I mean the connoisseur would probably say oh my gosh that's terrible but anyway <clears throat> next week is the Columbus pipe show so I'll be going to that and I'll uh, give you all an update on that so that ought to be exciting uh, it, it was, last year's my first time this year will be my second year so I, they really do a nice job, and I, I hope I look forward to buying a few things. I don't know that I'll buy a pipe this year. I haven't bought very many pipes, maybe two, maybe two since Christmas. Maybe not even that. I think just maybe the one um, from my buddy over in Italy. Um, but anyway, I, I don't think I will. I think I'll probably buy some some things like uh, pipe rack kind of things and maybe an ashtray or something. I'd like to have a good lighter. So I may look on that vein. I really just enjoy looking around and getting some samples and bringing those back. So anyway, hope you all are doing good and I thank you for watching. It's good to see some of the older guys. The el I don't mean that negatively, but the guys that have been around, it's good to see them back. OC Pipe Guy and Tim from over the pond. Um, and uh, it seems like there's someone else that I noticed. I uh, don't see you, Louisiana Pipe Guy. You're spreading your videos out a little more, it seems like, lately. I hope you're well. Pipe Pappy, I hope you're doing good. And um, um, all the guys that I usually talk with, I just hope that you all are doing well. And uh, Guy Weatherspoon, I hope you're doing good. Have a good day, and take care.